we're going to spend a few minutes looking at some ball joints to try to give you some idea of what makes a stock ball joint wear out so fast and what makes a Dynatrack ball joint last so long. And also give you a little bit of insight as to uh, how to rebuild a Dynatrack ball joint and why it's important to want a rebuildable ball joint. First, let's take a look at some of the stock parts we have over here. Basically, we have a stock ball joint out of a Dana 60 here, and this is kind of what it looks like when you cut it apart. And when you cut it apart, you'll notice that the part that does most of the work are these two pieces right here. The stem has a taper on it that presses into a knuckle or an end forging, and it has a ball on the end of it, hence the name ball joint. And this is the bearing surface that works with that ball joint. And when it's put together, this is pressed onto the end of that ball and it swivels around like that. They are contained in this housing which we've cut open so that we could take this apart. Now we cut this open so that you could see the inner workings. You can't take these apart. The way they manufacture these is they have a cup, they push this piece of plastic inside with the ball on it, and then they crimp over the top portion of it. It actually is kind of a cold forming process and it pinches the boot in position and that's what seals it off. The problem with these ball joints is they, the bearing material wears away far too quickly and easily. There's a lot of force and pressure on here, the whole way to the corner of the truck, and more importantly, the pounding of the tires going over obstacles on the road hammers on this excessively, and it begins to flow this plastic out of position, and it gets loose. Now, what we wanted to do was improve the durability of the ball joint and make it live a lot longer. So this is a cutaway of one of our Dynatrack ball joints. There is a spherical joint here, which is made out of heat-treated stainless steel, both the inside and the outside. It also has a Teflon lining to give it lubrication permanently. But it's also greasable, so you can pump grease into it to give it a long life. The heart of the Dynatrack ball joint is the heat-treated chromoly stem and the hardened stainless spherical bearing. The spherical bearing is just pressed on here lightly. It can be removed and a new one can be put in its place. The whole assembly can be removed from the housing in this direction by just removing the plug from the back side to give you access. This plug plays an important role in how the ball joint works. It actually sits very close to the stem but not exactly on it. It allows the stem freedom of movement in all directions, but it actually keeps just a few thousandths of an inch gap from the stem. That gap is there so that if the vehicle encounters a very hard obstacle suddenly, like a pothole or a curb at a high speed, when the stem is jammed up hard, it hits the plug and arrests the force and prevents that force from damaging the spherical bearing. Unlike the stock ball joint, it compresses the plastic lining and distorts it. 